and Averley as a club, as we've said, are not blessed with the biggest budget. But you as a manager thrived in that environment. What's been your secret, Danny? Um, yeah, I'm not sure there's a secret. I, th- I think I quite try and be humble and, and, and I think it needs a lot of people in the right places. It needs a lot of understanding. It needs a lot of people to be under the same page and understand what you can do and what you can't do and if you've got some if i'm a manager with a smaller budget and i'm chasing big dreams and big players and trying to spend that money and the club can't afford that then that's not going to work so i think the manager has to be on board with the ceos and the directors and the chairmans and they have to be on board with the manager and i think that's what we've got at evely they understand i'm not going to treat that budget um, as my own in a way and I try and look after it because uh, Concord Rangers where we had less money we had to spend really wisely so we don't overpay and again it goes back to the business time sometimes someone wants X amount of money to sign them or they want a contract and they want this and they want that and sometimes you have to say no because you know it'd be nice to have that player but it's no good having that player and then no strength in depth behind that or no squad behind that so we look at balance we look at balance of squad make sure that we've got good cover people that can play maybe various positions because there'll be times where we have injuries and we haven't got 24 people to call on we've got 16 so someone that could play three or four positions is a massive asset for us so they may not be the best player in all them positions but they probably deserve a little bit more budget uh, or a little bit more ways than someone else in another position because they help us as a football club and I think if we get that right and and we do our recruitment right and we do that process right and we're all on the same page then I think that's what gives you that foundation to move forward and and then it's about pushing and you know leading and driving people forward and showing people you care about them and I say that all the time and I don't know everything about football management I don't know everything about tactics you know I look up stuff every day and learn something new every day which is brilliant in in regards football and I won't claim I know it all but I think if I can get people in my dressing room that are willing to work hard and be together, then I think that gives us that, again, that foundation to go and do stuff. And we, we learn on the job as well at times. You have to learn and you have to adapt. You have to be flexible. Injuries or players out, suspensions, other teams changing shapes and formations. And I think you do your homework, work really hard. I think that's probably the key to success. And that's not just me. That's a management team. That's players and, and that's people at the football club as well, right through from media people to kit man to a photographer and they all got to line up and I think that's what we've had at Avery over the last few seasons everything's lined up in a row and it's important that we keep that going and it's easy to do that when you get success you learn a lot about people when maybe things don't go so well so we might have to suffer a little bit there might be this season might take a little bit of pain at times or periods in this season it's making sure that everybody don't get carried away don't get too disappointed and everyone stays on a level kill and everyone knows what the journey's about and our journey is to stay in the division again this year and that's not being negative but that helps us grow and that helps us develop for the following season and that's what we want to do because we want to establish ourselves as a what you would call a step two football club.